What's up everyone and welcome back to Nexus. Halloween is now just a couple days away, so for this video we're going to give you guys the top 5 scariest Halloween attractions on the planet. The giveaway for 200,000 subscribers is over and very soon we'll announce the winners. We plan to keep this going, so for every 100,000 subscribers we get we'll give away more Amazon gift cards. So two days ago we hit 300,000 subscribers, so the only way to celebrate is to give out more Amazon gift cards. To enter, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below letting us know which number on this list was your favorite. And for this video, let's aim for the golden like button, which is a thousand likes, so make sure to click that like button to help us reach our goal. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the top five scariest Halloween attractions. Number five, Erebus Haunted House. The Erebus Haunted House experience is a four-story terror experience that changes every year and is even supposedly actually haunted. It's located in Pontiac and is said to be one of the scariest Halloween events on the planet. The backstory states that the four-story house contains the story of Dr. J. Colbert, a mad scientist who supposedly built the first time machine in the world. There was a problem though. Every time someone used the time machine, whatever location they ended up rejected them and attacked them like a body would for a virus. Dr. J. Colbert ran out of volunteers and instead disguised his time machine as the Erebus haunted house in Pontiac and allowed an endless supply of paying subjects. The haunted house changes every year, though most of the popular scenes tend to stay around, so you'll never have the same scare twice. Number 4, The Witches of New Salem. The Witches of New Salem have three awesome scary events every year. There's The Witches Wood, a walkthrough experience where creatures run through the woods alongside escaped mental patients, witches, and demons specifically to scare you. Then there's the zombie attack session. This is my favorite. There are zombies out and about, and it's your job to take them down with a paintball gun. Finally, the haunted corn maze. You head into a corn maze and try to get to the objective while being hunted by corn stalkers, who are all scary in their own rights. Honestly, this place looks absolutely awesome, and if you live in Michigan, you should totally give it a go. Number 3, The Dent Schoolhouse. The Dent Schoolhouse is advertised as the scariest schoolhouse in Ohio, but to be honest, I think it's the scariest schoolhouse in the world. The story of the schoolhouse is set around a well-known urban legend of the area. In 1942, a bunch of children who went to the school went missing, and in 1955, an angry mob found out that the janitor, a man named Charlie, had been keeping the bodies of murdered students down in the basement. That's probably the creepiest part of this horror house, the fact that it's based on a real life urban legend. It used to be a schoolhouse, opened up in 1894 and then shut down in the 1950s. In 2005, Bud transformed these grounds into a horrifying urban legend. The legend of the Den Schoolhouse is Charlie McFree, the janitor, the kids just started getting to him, so finally he snapped and started killing several and put them all in the basement. And supposedly, now they haunt the schoolhouse. Number two, The Edge of Hell. The Edge of Hell is based in Kansas and is made up of four different creepy attractions. The biggest of them all is The Beast and is supposedly America's biggest haunted house. There are mazes, a werewolf forest, and a light tower filled with spookiness. In the forest, werewolves look through the forest every 30 minutes and is filled with alligators, a pirate, and a man hunting lion. Apparently the beast gets better every year and local press says it's the best haunted house in the world. Then there are the Chambers of Poe, which brings to life the writer Edgar Allan Poe's stories. The Macabre Cinema, which is a one hour walk through horrifying 1930s cinema, and then the Ghosts and Gangsters Tour, which takes customers through the scariest parts of Kansas. All in all, it sounds pretty cool and pretty scary. The main things that is so cool about the werewolf force is its sheer size and the fact that it is a quarter acre in size, 10,000 square feet. Hey, Oh, yeah. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> we choked. We went off the path. And nobody there to help. 
<laughs> Number one, the Hundred Acres Manor. The Hundred Acres Manor is in Pittsburgh, and it 100% deserves the top spot of our list. This year, there are six different attractions at the Hundred Acres Manor, two of which are new for 2016. The deadlift is over 100 years old and will take passengers deep below the manor. Originally, the lifts were used to transport guests and staff to the quarters in the basement. Now, all it holds is horrors beyond belief. Next is Damnation, a walkthrough experience through the depths of the manor's rooms. There are zombies, demons, and spirits all ready to freak out anyone walking through the manor. Then you have the Torture Tank. In the Torture Tank, you sort of decide what goes, so you get to design exactly what you would do to scare your friends and family the most before taking them to the fright of their lives. Next you've got Voodoo, where the Stitchers want your body. The Priestess wants your soul and the bodies of those before you look upon in pity as you run through the Louise Louisiana swamps from a man and beast alike. Then there's two new attractions. First is the Breach. Project Argo's The Spacebound Research Facility has gotten out of hand and the genetically engineered monsters they were studying have been released. And now you have to escape. It's like Doom coming to real life. Finally, Hallow's Eve, which is a tribute to the classic Halloween monsters, creatures, and superstitions. <laughs> Anyways, that was our list of the top five scariest Halloween attractions. If you think we missed something better, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below setting us straight. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video in the future. And don't forget to click that like button to help us reach our golden like button, which is a thousand likes. Thank you so much. Have a great day and goodbye.